Hello, a very good evening to you. It's me, Scotty McClure, and we are, of course, live on Facebook Live, one of the world's great broadcast platforms. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Scotty McClure Show 55, one hour of superb scintillating information, education, and entertainment for not just one nation, but for all nations. Of course, we start tonight by sending condolences to our brothers and sisters uh, in Southern Springs in Texas, where there's been a shooting in the Baptist Church, and 27 people are thought to have died in that shooting. So sorry to hear your news, and we stand side by side with you across the world. Uh, lots of people watching tonight. Ian Campbell, David Fraser, Michael McGuigan, Alan Carmichael, Joe Markey, Julianne Scott. Excellent stuff. Lovely to have you with us, folks. Ian Walker watching. And uh, lovely to have you with us as well. So there you go. We're into our 55th show tonight. 55 wonderful, wonderful shows uh, with superb, scintillating information, education, and entertainment. Pete Gallagher says hello. Greenock is watching the wonderful town of Greenock on the River Clyde in Scotland. Dinky do. Eddie Doby Senior, Dinky do to you. Very sad indeed, says Joe Markle. Andrew Mackay, evening, Scotty, evening to you, Andrew. Lovely to have you with us. Cameron Filson's watching. Excellent to have you with us as well. Come and join us, folks, because this is where we meet up. Every Sunday night, it's 9 o'clock Greenwich Mean Time. I'm Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, first lord of the internet, and of course the world's most humble man. Thank you so much for all your sharing and sharing and sharing, not just across the Facebook platforms, but on every platform across the internet, on the World Wide Web. So there we are. Excellent. Paisley's watching, says Joe Markey. John Hodgson, excellent. Lovely to have you with us. John Hodgson from Great Yorkshire Radio, one of the country's finest radio stations. Great Yorkshire Radio. Get them on. They're on digital. They're on the internet. Uh, you'll get them on Twitter, on Facebook. Great Yorkshire Radio. The name says it all. There we are. All right there, Scotty, says Machair Peverell. Absolutely, Machair, lovely to have you with us. Johnny M. Linney, lovely to have you. Ron Stewart, excellent. A very warm welcome to you as well. Keith Wotherspoon, dinky do, Keith. Lovely to have you with us. So many talented people watching, so many creative people watching. It is amazing. <coughs> There we are. Scotty, the shootings, it seems to be coming the norm from America. It's not going to stop. Although in Mexico, it's ten times worth. I wonder if all Americans would think about giving up guns. So there we are now. It's a big, big way of thinking. But guns are really for people who are thinking in a very small way. So there you go. So see what you think about it. And uh, Steve Burrows, yes, lovely to have you with us, Steve. Dinky do, dinky do to all of you from me, Scotty McClue. We are, of course, live on Facebook Live. Our one hour program, Sunday nights, it's moved till nine o'clock. So you should have had plenty of warning, plenty of information. If you see anything coming through from Scotty McClue, always make sure that you've got it there. Never going to happen, pals. That's my care. My care. It will never happen if you think that way. If you think in a different way and say, yes, that's a possibility. America might think about giving up their guns if it's put to them in the right way and they feel secure in their homeland. Uh, I worked with a guy once whose catchphrase was Fabidu, says Pete Gallagher. Brilliant stuff. Scotty, what do you think we should get rid of fireworks night, particularly due to what it symbolises? Do you know, Johnny, it's funny you should say that, because I was just thinking that as we came on air tonight. I thought to myself, why don't we just get rid of fireworks night? Why don't the Catholic Church stand up and say, put a stop to this? Because Burning Guy Fox is burning a Catholic gentleman. So there you are. Now, I know he had mischief in mind for the House of Commons. But I noticed some people saying today, you know, how far off Beam was Guy Fox. 
Peter Ewing. Dinky do to you. When will the Americans get rid of the amendment of the right to bear arms? Says Alfred James Wright. It certainly bears thinking about. And I'll tell you what else. There's Tam Ramage. How's it going, Scotty? Dinky do, Tam. Lovely to have you with us. How can I stop this noise? We're getting ting, ting, ting when everybody comes on. Um, I can hear Glasgow fireworks from Paisley, says Joe Markey. Gordon Stilling, ban the squibs. My spark is terrified. Yes, I've been looking after Clyde for the last three nights. Uh, now, he's used to it because he was a little gun dog, but this just scares him. He thinks, why are we getting all this going boom? And he won't go out for a walk when it's actually happening. So there you are. I wonder how I can stop that noise coming in. Uh, I saw a shop today advertising silent fireworks. What a great idea. You won't believe me now, but I was just going to come out with that before you sent me that message. Why don't we have silent fireworks? Why don't we have light but not sound? <clears throat> so there we are. Scotty, my dog will not even eat his tea. He's petrified of these bangers, says McKeer. Yes, absolutely. Um, I used to live in Manchester, as you all know, and it was like a war zone on there. I wonder how I can stop that noise. Shani Brown's watching, absolutely. Uh, if law-abiding citizens give up guns, the outlaws will keep theirs, says Eddie Doby. Well, if you made it that it's a very, very serious offence to have a gun, you might be surprised how quickly they give it up. Uh, so there you are. Uh, Wee June here, have a good night. Wee June Pottis, dinky doo June. You have a good night too, my darling. Lovely to hear from you. Uh, my dog thinks North Korea struck, says Paul McCulley. Well, it hasn't, but it's well worthy of discussion on here because some very influential people watch the Scotty McClue show on Facebook Live on a Sunday night. Have you seen the fox lately, Scotty, says Steve Burrows? The fox must be hiding. He must be afraid of the fireworks too, because I haven't seen him. He used to follow me home about six feet away when I was out with the dog. Uh, I'm looking for a search party for my wee cat, says Stephen MacDonald. Yes, she'll be hiding somewhere, Stephen. The only worry is that she may be gone under a little gap under the door of a shed or something like that. So check your sheds. Get the neighbours to check their sheds as well. Evening, Scotty, says Gordon Riley. Dinky do, Gordon. Lovely to hear from you. And uh, Lee Fern's watching, Martin Rose watching, lovely to have you with us. Come on and make a comment, guys. It's Scotty McClue, it's our 55th show. 55 shows. Is that not absolutely amazing for something that just started off pressing the little microphone, the little icon? Uh, Andy Hood's watching, and Andy Drummond, dinky do Andy. Lovely to hear from you as well, of course. Marvellous stuff. So... The fireworks, is it time to give them up? Now, I know there's commercial interests here at work, but is it time to give up the fireworks? Jim Clark's there. Dinky do, Jim. Lovely to have you. Uh, Scotty, I see your clan seat lands have been bought by a Russian, and the Laird is down under, says Ian Walker. Yes, the Laird's been down under for many, many years, Ian. I can tell you that uh, for nothing. Evening, Scotty, says Jim Clark. Good evening to you, Jim. I hope you are well. Right, folks, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue Live on Facebook Live. This is the big one. This is where it all happens. The world's top talk show, live just for you, every Sunday evening, 9 o'clock. Be honest. Tell me, make a comment. Did you remember about the time change? Did you see it advertised? Let me know if you think there's enough advertising of it on the Facebook pages. Uh, Mark says, fireworks are awesome. Well, they are, Mark, but are they too loud? The pets don't like them, and many, many, many people have pets. Johnny Strachan says, Scotty! Scotty, absolutely. Did you see the terrible news today about the boneheads tying fireworks to a cat? How sick is that? These people should actually be jailed for life. So there you are. Uh, but I can tell you there is such a thing as karma and that little cat's spirit will come back and haunt them in the strangest of ways. That's what idiots don't understand. Um, I'm turning my car into a firework. It's a wee banger. Oh, Ian Walker, are you not quite the wee comedian? How marvellous is that? Sandy Howden. Scotty, what are we going to do about the hearts? 
What do you mean, the hearts and minds? Or the jambos? Let us know what you're thinking, Sandy. How did you feel, uh, how did you feel they played? So there we are. Sandy, I want you to have something good in your life. I want you to see an independent Scotland and have a, a great football team and all these wonderful things. I wish you so many good things, Sandy. But you have to help yourself. Um, now, what have we got this? No, I'm still an hour ahead, says Johnny Strachan. Well, Johnny, you'll need to sort your clock out. Last week, the clocks went back. Spring forward fall back they go back in the fall uh, what are we going to do about it sandy so there you are excellent well they need to sort themselves out sandy the cat's been found says stephen mcdonald hey hallelujah stephen the wee cat has been found send us the cat's name please so that we can send out a blessing all right very very important if you've just joined us folks welcome 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 you're watching scotty McClue. We are, of course, live on the world's top broadcast platform, Facebook Live. We're not just for one nation, we are for several nations. As you know, I am a creative and cultural ambassador for Scotland and for the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Scotty McClue, capital S, small C, O, double T, I, E. That's the Scotty McClue, capital M, small C, capital C, L, U, E. That is the McClue. And um, it's going on now. I've got wee ones for schools. Uh, so there you are. That's uh, June. I think she said, I'm going on now. Steve Clark, best managerial appointment of the season, says Johnny Strachan. So there you are. The lucky ones. My childhood didn't have fireworks. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10, says Pete Gallagher. Um, Sandy Howden says, get Scotty to manage the hearts of it. So there you are. Get me in there. Get them on the wing. And um, cats have nine lives, so they say. Poor cats, says Joe Markey. Well, the cat's been fine, Joe, so all is well. Jim Gallagher's watching. Excellent to have you with us, Jim. And a big dinky do to you. Tina Spence. Hello, Tina. Lovely to have you with us as well. Everybody's joining Scotty McClue live on Facebook Live now. We're just coming up to our share point. So can everyone share, 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 share. Share, share, and get type, type, typey, type, and put in, I'm watching Scotty McClue live, are you? Adrienne Murphy, uh, excellent stuff. Charles McLachlan's joined us. What's the bleep all about, says Gordon Riley? I don't know, Gordon. Every time someone sends a message, I'm getting this bleep. Now, we had to come out of Messenger because it was interrupting the show. Uh, so I don't know what the bleeps are doing. I'll need to uh, switch it off. There must be something in settings. If anybody knows about Facebook, what is the bleep when something is arriving? Um, I'm good at firework displays. I've got a flair for it, says Michael. <laughs> very, very good. There was a guy up in front of the judge because he thought he was a rocket. And the judge let him off. So there you are. Yes, Ian Walker, Michael Peveril, 20 others have commented. So there you are. Funny Scotty, it usually rains on bonfire night. Tonight's the first. Well, we had a lovely full moon last night. We had a beautiful, what's known as a hunter's moon. So you've got your harvest moon, then you've got your hunter's moon. Or sometimes it's called a beaver's moon because the beavers start to build their dams. So if you have any experience of a beaver, uh, you will know what I am talking about, right? Uh, what's the best thing for supper, Scotty? Cheese on toast. Yes. Depends what cheese. Try the apple wood smoked. Very, very nice. So there you are. Derek McGonagall's watching. Lovely to have you with us. Turn off your notifications, says Joe Markey. Now, Joe, if I turn off my notifications, that's bound to stop everybody coming on the show, is it not? Because I'm reading out notifications now. Am I not? Uh, no, tonight's the fifth, not the first, says Gordon Riley. I don't know what you're talking about, Gordon. If you're talking about the full moon, the full moon was on the fourth last night. Alan Brown's watching in the United States of America. Dinky do, Alan, from Washington. We send deep, deep condolences to everything that's happening out in Sutherland Springs there. Um, so there we are. Care Philly cheese, says Julianne Scott. Well, there you go, Julianne. How marvellous is that? Scotty, the bleep is the Confederation section button. 
you have a precursor, the analog response button. Simples. Ian, I think you might be talking nonsense. Simples. So they are, hello, says Alan Brown. Hello to you, Alan, and much love to you and your lovely family in Washington, D.C. There we are. Canadian mature, says Bobby McLaughlin. Oh, so the program's turning into a cheese program, is it? We're getting all that. See how many different kinds of cheese we can actually get on the program tonight. That would be amazing. If you've just joined us, welcome, welcome, welcome. You're looking at one of the biggest shows on the internet, the World's Top Talk Show with me, Scotty McClue, the World's Top Broadcaster, first lord of the internet, and a creative and cultural ambassador for the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, and for Scotland. So there we are. Right, Stephen Stewart's watching. Lovely to have you with us. Lol, says Ian Walker. I thought you were talking absolute nonsense, Ian. I don't think I've ever actually heard you talk sense. Something I can look forward to, no doubt. Uh, so there we are. Uh, a policeman arrested two kids on bonfire night, one for drinking battery acid, the other was eating fireworks. So there we are. I can imagine one was putting an overnight charge. So there we are. Uh, that's a joke, by the way, folks. Do not try that at home. Scott is getting out of hand with women in politics. Some of them better lighten up. Well, I know what you're saying, Sandy. I mean, I think we have to make sure that people feel safe in the workplace but i spoke to a real lady today and i'm talking a real lady get my meaning and uh, i said to her you know what would you do if a guy had put his hand on your knee she said well if you didn't want him to do it you just lifted it off and turned round and smiled at him so there you are and that was him told so there you go hi de hi from old ricky scotty's is chris harley dinky doo Scotty, you're in a lift, says Ian Walker. Yes, that's right. I'm going up and down, up and down. So there we are. Um, Bobby McLaughlin says Galloway. So he, oh, Galloway cheese. I thought you were down in Galloway, Dumfries and Galloway. So there you are. So I think it's uh, getting a bit out of hand when everybody's saying, oh, yes, uh, that was the thing. Um, you know, he put his hand in my knee because the feminists must be furious with all this um, accusations flying about. Because if you think about it, it paints them out, paints all women as just poor wee souls who have no tongue in their head, they've not got a good Scotch tongue in their head, they can't say no to somebody, and all that sort of thing. So there you are. That's coming across as well, I have to say. So the feminists will be absolutely furious about it because they want equality. They're wanting to be able to say to the men, that they might be up for a wee bit of the one, two, buckle my shoe, and uh, do they want to come in? You know, that sort of stuff, because what's going to happen? Someone says, do you want to come in for a wee coffee after a date? The guys are going to go, absolutely no way, no chance. I don't trust you, hen. So there'll be a bit of that as well. Uh, my dad said, the order of the fiddle, although the older the fiddle, the better the tune. So Joe Markey, I think quite right, your dad had a point. Yeah. It's making us men all look like perverts, says Bobby McLaughlin. Yes, and that is certainly not the case. It only takes one man to show you that all men are not the same. So there you are. So it's, it's not so good. Um, and women are not painting themselves in a particularly good light by saying, oh, yes, say, yes, I put his hand in my knee, but I, I didn't mind or anything like that. Um, fright my life. There's a firework went off. It was like a bomb going off. I thought Kim John had struck us, says Angie. Correct, Scotty. Women must feel safe, but some of the complaints are terrible. As you know, I do not like the SNP, um, but um, the guy's explanation sounded okay. He thought it was banter, says Sandy Hound. Sandy, you should like all political parties. So there you are. I don't know where all this hatred has come from. You know, I mean, just because somebody's got a different opinion, I've had a different opinion to millions of you for uh, for 40 years, and nobody minds that. So there you are. We discuss it. Uh, did you hear about the explosion at the cheese factory? There was debris everywhere. Very good. What do you call a duck who likes watching fireworks? A f fire quacker. Good evening, Scotty, says Alex Robertson. 
John Rafferty is watching. Hello, John Rafferty. Dinky do. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue, and we're live on Facebook Live, the World Stop Broadcast Platform. Very, very busy tonight. Show 55, our 55th week of operation. How excellent is that? Um, Angie, is it an iPad you're using, Scotty? Um, it's a, a, what am I using? It's a, it's a little tablet. So there you are. It's a little tablet. Um, should those MPs accused of discretion, not just accused of discretion, not just be sacked, as it would be the case in other workplaces? Chris, I think you mean indiscretion. Yes. MPs accused of indiscretion, not just be sacked. Um, well, I think also there's, there's movements of foot in society. They're trying to stop affairs in the workplace as well. You know, anything, that kind of communication, they're trying to put a stop to that as well. Uh, Douglas Vaughan, stinky do to you. Lovely to have you with us. Willie Kelly's watching. Um, I made a belt out of watches. I found it a waste of time. Ooh! We're getting all the funnies tonight. I do apologise for the pings every so often. Um, we'll see if we can sort it out for you. I think it'll be to do with something in the settings. Um, but uh, I can't turn off the notifications because I would imagine you are all my notifications. Uh, good evening, Scotty. Sean and Steph watching as usual. Keep up the good work. Says Sean McCormick. Dinky do to you, Sean and Steph. Lovely to have you with us live on Facebook Live on the Scotty McClue Show for not just one nation, but all nations. It should be in settings. Keep notifications on. Turn the sound down. The Wayne's one does it, says Angie. Right, so put off the sound in notifications. Are you giving us a tune tonight, says Douglas Lance. Ah, Douglas, I would love to give you a tune tonight. Now, excuse me, rubbing my nose there. Um, now, I'm just thinking, what would you like? What about Glen Colour Castle? Rum da dee da da dum da da diddle dee ay da dum dee da dee da da dee da diddle dee ay da dee da dee da dum da dee da da diddle dee dum da dee da 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 da dee that right do let me know did i go into something else douglas and of course my other favorite is uh, you well know is faro or stray um Dum da dee da 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 you can come on and sing us Kilchum Castle because it's not one I've heard of. What do you? Well, I've heard of Kilchum Castle, but not as a a two four pipe march. What do you think about Scientology, Scotty, being debunked right now by Louis Theroux? Excellently. Shout out to Swansea East Band. Our last competition a week today in Treco Bay after sixty five years. Sad times. Swansea East Band, do not give up. Get a hold of the movie Brassed Off and watch every second of it. I think we have to dissolve Parliament and restore the monarchy. This is what Cromwell did it first time. Corruption and sleaze. Greedy swine, says Bobby. Are you doing a show for New Year's Eve, Scotty, says Steve Burroughs? Yes, I might do. Please stop, says somebody. What cheeky, cheeky person said, please stop? Can't see. It'll come back. Uh, that's me got a new ringtone, says Gordon Riley. The only thing wrong with Guy Fox was he forgot the matches, Scotty. Can you play the pipes, Scotty, says Chris Harley. Well, I can tune the pipes, shall we say. Say, Scotty, you'll be losing listeners if you keep that up. Get the box out instead, says McKeer. Well, funnily enough, McKeer, the box is actually here. 
Uh, but I don't know if we'd be able to play these marvellous tunes. Uh, so there you go, because there's quite a... a wee bit of Faro or Stray uh, on the box. Excellent stuff. Right, we'll see how we get on with that. Uh, play it again, Sam. Aye, ah, says Peter Ewing. My favourite is the Black Bears, Scotty. There you go. Uh, Scotty, you never cease to amaze me, says Charles McLaughlin. Para handy, says Bobby McLaughlin. Do you remember para handy, Bobby? Brilliant, absolutely brilliant, says McHare. Well, we like to look after you, McHare. Give the listeners what they want, and they will reward you with their listenership and their viewership. Um, so there you go. Paul Fraser Doherty is watching. You cannot beat the wee squeeze box, Scotty, says Chris Halley. Well, I was just balancing it on the desk there, so you weren't getting the best of it. Um, so there you are. And uh, Paul McCulley, Ross Kemp, keep walking the green mile. So there, yes, he was in the barrel the other night, the big hoose. And I still get quite a few messages from people that were in the big hoose when Scotty McClue was on Scott FM. And they say it got them through the night. So I think if I, if I ever had to go into the big hoose, I might have one or two buddies there that uh, look after me. Can you play California? Yes, of course I can, David. So there you go. Love the box, says Alex Robertson. Yes, it is excellent. Highland Cathedral, says Sean. Yes, we can do that for you as well, Sean. Um, so there we are. We'll get your requests. Uh, hopefully you like the porridge, says Joe Markick. <laughs> Great stuff. Excellent. Now, if you've just joined us, folks, it's share time. So share, 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 share. You're watching Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet, and the creative and cultural ambassador for the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, and for Scotland. Uh, do you think Christmas is advertised too early? Uh, an extra O in two there, Steve. We spelling one there, a wee SP. Uh, yes, I think it started. I mean, we'd barely had Halloween and this Christmas stuff appearing in the shops. Uh, I bet that wasn't all you were balancing on the table, Scotty, says McHare. Ho, oh, talking of which, we touch of the hot chocolate here tonight. Mmm. Look at that lovely bit of Argyle pottery, Danoon pottery. Uh, Peter Martin's watching. Thank you, do, Peter. Uh, excellent to have you with us. Mel Booth is watching. One of the finest radio managers in the country. Thank you, do, to you, Mel. Richard Mackay is watching. Hello. Lovely to have you with us. Right, guys, very, very busy tonight. Share, 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 share. We've only got one hour of superb, scintillating information, education, and entertainment for not just one nation, but for all nations. Tell ten to tell ten to tell ten to tell ten about Scotty McClue with show number 55. Just for you, dinky doo. Can I tell you that the high level meetings continue and you should be hearing and seeing a lot more of Scotty McClue. So there you are. Do you know the road to the Isles, Scotty? I do, Alfred James Wright. Well, get on it, says you, Alfred James Wright. Lovely old joke. There we are. Uh, shared. Where did you get that hat, says Sarah Louise Main. Where did you get that hat? It's uh, McClure's bonnet. We've had it for a long, long time. This particular one, I think, was purchased in Ilkley. So you've obviously heard of in Ilkley Moor, but that. So that just means on Ilkley Moor, which those of you who know Ilkley in Yorkshire, it rises up just uh, in the town. You see the moor rising up. It's effectively a big hill with sheep on it. 
and uh, you'd climb Ilkley Moor. But if you weren't wearing your hat, you'd be Bat Hat. So there you are, on Ilkley Moor Bat Hat. Scotty, is your wee dog coping with the fireworks? Says Charles McLaughlin. Charles, thank you so much for asking. He's not as it happens. So we've had a lot of counselling going on, sitting in the sofa, stroking him and saying that it's actually nothing to worry about. That's okay. That's okay. Looks like <gasps> when another one goes off. Uh, Scotty, did you know Hitler stopped his forces from taking out the British army at Dunkirk? And no one knows why. He could have won the war if he did. My theory is he knew the Black Watch were in there. Well, he may have done because there's a story that when all the bombs and bullets were flying around, the piper got the pipes out, was going up and down. A wee guy from Glasgow shouted to him, Biggin, for goodness sake, play something they like. So there you are. Thank you. It's staying it from East, says Sarah Louise, Maine. Thank you, Sarah Louise. Lovely to have you with us in Dinky Doo. Uh, Andy Brooks. Mark Gow. I've ordered my tweed jacket, says Joe Markey. Good for you, Joe. Excellent stuff. Uh, Makaya. Ha ha, Scotty. You make me chuckle. So you do. Well, you make me chuckle too, Makaya. So we are the chucklers. Um, hi, Scotty. What do you think of the Queen squirrelling some of her money away in the Canaan Islands to avoid paying uh, her proper share in taxes? Peter, let's just put this in absolute context. This is designed to shock. This is designed to embarrass the Queen right now. It won't do, I would hope, because I'll tell you what it is. There's a lot of money comes in for the state and you're looking for the best home for your money. Now, interest rates in the United Kingdom are very, very poor. The Queen does pay her tax. It's a voluntary arrangement. The Queen has done absolutely nothing wrong here. There's nothing illegal about what's happened. But some of the investments through the Duchy of Lancaster um, have, been, have been made offshore. £10 million. And I assure you that £10 million, although it's a lot to you and I, is an absolute drop in the ocean to somebody of high net worth. So it, it, it seems to be to me to have been shares in certain businesses um, and uh, the money was uh, was sent along there by the advisors, the financial advisors. Uh, the Queen probably wouldn't know anything about it because uh, that size of investment as I say, is a drop in the ocean. You're looking at, if you go across to the other side of the world, you've got people with billions and billions of pounds. And as you well know, there's a huge difference between tax avoidance, that's just somebody trying to get a good tax deal, and tax evasion, which is illegal, that's somebody evading their tax. So I have to stress here, Her Majesty has done absolutely nothing wrong and this is all designed to cause uh, embarrassment now i hope that she won't be embarrassed like that because her majesty costs us all 52 pence a year some some people say it could be as high as 56 pence a year all right so there you are your television license costs you 150 quid a year so let's just put all this in proportion um my cat's not coping either with the fireworks he's hiding in a brown paper bag at the moment while the other cat's jumping on him, says Angie. Scotty, they're allowed to advertise Christmas to insomniacs. They've only had three sleeps till Christmas. <laughs> tax avoidance is wrong, Scotty, says Peter Martin. Well, no, tax avoidance would be the best deal that your accountant can get for you. Tax evasion is wrong, Peter. So there you are. And uh, the Queen would have an accountant who deals with her personal. Joe Markey, I feel. No, there'll be advisors, but they will advise the um, Chamberlain of the household. They will advise the purse bearer. They will advise the controller of the household. They will advise the private secretaries who will um, speak directly to Her Majesty. So it's a long chain of command. So there you are. And uh, well said, Scotty. Our Queen knows nothing, says Sandy. Absolutely, Sandy. She won't know about something as small an amount as that. You know, if it had been several billion pounds, it may have been slightly different. And the Duchy of Lancaster is set up 
to look after royal finances because that helps this country. And when George V, the reason the Queen pays tax voluntary was it is Her Majesty's Customs and Revenue. So there you are, the Her Majesty's Inland Revenue. But after the First World War, the country, of course, had done in its money and they were in an absolute state that the, the UK uh, PLC was going to go bankrupt. Well, it wouldn't be PLC in these days. But uh, King George V very kindly said, listen, I've got some money that I could give to the country. And he said, but I'm not also going to be paying tax on it. He said, no, 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 we'll do a deal with you, Majesty. And that was that. Scotty is designed to educate the people in the waste of resources on the monarchy. It's an outdated circus. Nonsense, Ian. I don't know where you're coming from. You're going to have to really do your homework, Ian, because you're an outdated circus. You've been moaning on like this for a long time. Uh, that's me talking sense. You can't see the wood from the trees. Ian, what you forget, Scotty McClue is an expert on the monarchy. Anything you want to know, I will tell you. All right. Uh, did you know the Germans used to nail Scott's prisoner's shoes to the floor, then put on a Jimmy Shand record as a torture, Scotty, says Alfred James Wright. Now, I heard the other day, and I will check it up for you, that the highest selling artist of all time was Jimmy Shand. And who does Scotty McClue champion in all his programs? Jimmy Shand. And of course, I also champion Kenneth McKellar. One of the finest voices ever. There's all critics about the Queen, but when the dark day comes, they'll not be long in thanking her for a few days off, says Angie Thompson. So there you are. Absolutely, Angie. Um, so that's what's going on there. Um, well said, Scotty, says Sandy. Yes, indeed. Jimmy Shand, says Joe Markey. Absolutely. Jimmy Shand, the 622 step. So there you are. The 622 step was a radio program called Heather Mixture. I don't know if any of you will actually remember that program. The whole of the elite are at it and have been at it since the days of William the Conqueror. Only the enlightening can see this. No, no, Ian, I told you about William the Conqueror, right? So there you are. So the Normans, yes, giving the knights huge swathes of land to look after. We all know about that, but you need to take the chip off your shoulder. That's not going to change. That is the structure of this country. Although there has been immense social movement pretty well since the First World War that caused the social movement, Ian. So there you are. So it's all very well. I appreciate that you're a big lefty and uh, everything. But if we spend all our money, we will have nothing left. So you do need people looking after the big brass. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, so there you go. Good Paisley man, says Joe Markey. Yes, you are indeed, sir. Gillian McKenzie's watching. Dinky do. Arthur Davis is watching. Um, only bees need a queen. Americans have a joker. Well, you wouldn't like to see it. You see, if you <coughs> remove our system like that, then you would end up becoming a third world. And there would be all sorts of people falling over each other, st stabbing each other in the back to hold the high office. It's wonderful that we have got monarchs that go on forever. And as the Queen said, prime ministers come and go. So there you are. Uh, Barry Watts watching Dinky Doo Barry. Lovely to have you with us. One of our finest broadcasters. Excellent DJ. Barry Watt, Dinky Doo, I say, from Scotty McClue. How's the time? My goodness me. Uh, another share time coming up. So there you are. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue. We are live on Facebook Live. That is the big one. Just to let you know, a wonderful broadcast platform. Just to let you know that top level meetings are going on all the time. And very shortly, you should be hearing and seeing a lot more of me, Scotty McClue, saying dinky doo to all of you. Uh, Jim Morris, hello to you. The First World War was started by the Marquis Scotty. Am I right or am I right? No, you're not actually right, Ian. <clears throat> the First World War was obviously triggered by the um, assassination of the Archduke Franz Ferdinand and his good lady uh, in Sarajevo. But that was, that was the tinderbox for it. But the Kaiser, yeah, wanted to be upsides with his uncle Bertie. And Uncle Bertie, of course, died in 1910.
10. Now, King George V most certainly did not start the First World War. And he said, and right, and you might not like me saying this, but this is absolute fact. King George was pushed into a corner at a meeting, or he felt he was, he felt he was being bounced. And he said to the assembled company, which would be his generals, and he said to them, I don't want another war. I didn't start the last one. If you have another war, I have a good mind to go down to Trafalgar Square and wave the red flag myself. There, he was absolutely incandescent with rage that they were going to have another war. So there you are on his beautiful country. Uh, good evening from East Kilbride uh, Taxi Owners Association. East Kilbride Taxis, uh, TOA, says James Bauer. Dink you do, James. Love to East Kilbride Taxis. Scotty, my bottle's away. I've got the dentist in the morning. Any advice? <coughs> so there you are. Macair, when you go into the dentist chair, just take a nice deep breath and relax. And several times during the consultation, when you get a wee moment, the dentist goes, sorry, now you're doing okay. You're doing very, very well. And has a wee stop, just you relax. Just relax. Because modern dental treatment is excellent. They know what they're doing. Their anaesthetics are very, very good. So there you are. Scotty, uh, Midlothian Council, Labour, brackets, close brackets, is skint. The previous SNP spent the lot Sunday. Never heard so much nonsense talked in all my life. It's up to the councils to put in for their amounts. So don't be listening to nonsense. So there you are. Scotty Ross Kemp just chapped your cell door. You have to put that straight jacket on right away. Ian, that's right. I will not borrow your jacket. So there you go. You keep it, son. And uh, you need it more than me. Take a chill pill, says Julianne Scott. So there you are. Who are you talking to, Julie? Are you talking to Ian Walker? Or are you talking to me, Scotty McClue? If you've just joined us, folks, welcome, welcome, welcome. How's the time looking? Get a bit concerned. Share time. Share, 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 share. Say, I am watching Scotty McClue live on Facebook Live just for you, dinky do. Our 55th show tonight. Thanks, Scotty, says James Barron. Not at all, James. No problem at all. Stuart Jackson is watching. A very warm welcome to you, Stuart. Lots to discuss tonight. We're talking about silent fireworks so that animals don't have to go through almost a week of sheer terror at this time of year just because people aren't thinking. Uh, Scotty, I was that tired after working night shift the other day. I told the dentist their chair was so comfortable. So there you are, says Chris Harley. Uh, not to, no, talking to my hair, says Julianne Scott. Oh, yes, just to chill out. Absolutely. I didn't think I needed a chill pill. Shared Scotty, says James Barr. Absolutely. Everybody share right now. And type, 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 type. Hear it? You know, type, 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 type. Sandy is an expert, Scotty, says Alfred James Wright. Well, he said Sandy, or Sandy is an expert. I think he means Sandy. Um, so there you go, and uh, the hour is going quick, says Steve Burrows. Steve, it does, it goes past in an absolute flash. I think if you're enjoying yourself, time flies. And I know my viewers enjoy themselves because they tell me. They say, we're loving the program. It's what it is. It's a Facebook Live video. But did you notice one from a couple of weeks ago is uh, over 16,000 viewers. Now, that's not bad. Think what Scotty McClure could be doing on a television and radio station for television and radio moguls. You know, absolutely amazing. Um, animal earphones. Yes, well, ear protectors for animals. Good one, Ian. The thing is, Scotty, these tax avoidance schemes aren't accessible to the masses like you and me. Who would actually benefit from paying less income? It's nearly lights out, says Ian. Yes, absolutely, Ian. Very nearly lights out. So there we go. We seem to have frozen. I don't know if yours is actually frozen. But this looks as if it's, it's having a wee freeze to itself. Um, I'll maybe try this and see.